Good morning. I think what happened, he says it's because of cover-up, and I know that that strikes a chord with him, and he's afraid of cover-up, but uh, afraid of being accused of cover-up. But I really think that what he knew the, the one court decision was getting into territory that he did not want touched, and they did not allow the Mueller, report, uh, Mueller investigation to go into the president's personal finances. So Mazur was a setback for him, and then he must have known the Deutsche Bank decision uh, would be consistent, but in any event, uh, to inoculate against uh, its um, presentation, he, he pulled a stunt. Now, I truly believe that the president has a bag of tricks, and the White House has a bag of tricks, that they save for certain occasions. They don't necessarily apply to the occasion, but they're a distraction, which is his, his master of distraction. We will all agree on that. That's something he does well, to distract from problems that he has. He changes, tries to change the subject. And while he tried to say it's because I said cover-up, we've been saying cover-up for a while. And our 9 o'clock meeting was a meeting we have anyway, so it had nothing to do with him. But I think what really got to him was the, these court cases and the fact that the House Democratic Caucus is not on a path to impeachment, and that's where he wants us to be. And when he saw that that was not happening, that, again, with the cover-up, which he understands is true, just struck a chord. So it was So, uh, so, but the president, again, stormed out. I think, what, first, pound the table, walk out the door. What? Next time, have the TV cameras in there while I have my say. That didn't work for him either. And now this time, another ten temper tantrum. Uh, uh, again, I pray for the president of the United States. I wish that his family or his administration or his staff would have an intervention for the good of the country. Yes, ma'am. Madam Speaker, would you be prepared to change your rhetoric given the political landscape you're seeing the president's temperament? Uh, your prayer comments almost suggest you're concerned about his well-being. I am. And the well-being of the United States of America. We're not saying, as the president said, if you, don't, um, if you don't stop investigating me, if you don't stop honoring your oath of office, I can't work with you. That's basically what he's saying. Maybe he wants to take a leave of absence. I don't know. Of course. I told you. explain Okay, the what intervention? You made a comment that you thought oh, was, might want to do Oh, that. I thought you said statutory infant <laughs> intervention. That would be good. Article 25. <laughs> <laughs> Troublemaker. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm glad you suggested it. I'll take it up with my caucus. <laughs> Not that they haven't been thinking about it. But your support will be important to them. <laughs> What was the first? Oh, yes. Oh, there's no question. The White House is just crying out for impeachment. That's why he flipped yesterday, because he, he was hoping. People not wearing yellow jackets again. <laughs>